Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Bolts Laboratory. As you may have noticed, I mentioned that I'll be doing a collaborative video with another YouTuber. But due to unforeseen circumstances, we won't be able to do that. However, I am here to share my experience in robotics program at Drexel. First thing I want to talk about is uh, campus life at Drexel. Drexel University has multiple campuses located at the different parts of the city. The campus where I study is a university city campus where you have administrative buildings, uh, library, lab facilities, research facilities, restaurants, a park, a recreational center where you can uh, engage in sports, gym and other physical exercises. We also have convenient transportation option like nearby bus and train station which, uh, which makes it easier to commute to different places. However, some people may prefer a campus that is uh, far from regular traffic that gives them a peaceful environment when they spend time outside the campus. Next is a course structure at Drexel. At Drexel, we follow a trimester system. This means that instead of having two semesters per year, we will be having three quarters per year. So each quarter will be around, um, each quarter will be three months long. For my course, I need to complete five quarters to graduate. Unlike in other universities, we need to earn 45 credits, which requires studying of 15 subjects over a period of uh, five quarters. So in each quarter, you can take around three to four subjects. In robotics program, the courses are divided into six categories. Uh, those are systems and uh, systems, mathematics and foundation, technical uh, focus area, technical electives and uh, transformation elective master, uh, mastery, which, which means thesis or non-thesis. I'll discuss about these co individual courses in future videos so that this video won't be too long. The next topic will be assignments. The assignments were quite challenging in the first term for me when compared to the later terms. I'll discuss about assignments when I talk about individual subjects. But in this video, I can give you an overview about the assignments on of what to expect. I have encountered some easy assignments where I didn't learn anything new, but I have received a good grade. On, on the other hand, there were tough assignments which require external resources for assistance. And there were few interesting assignments which are not that tough and not easy where uh, I have enjoyed them a lot. Next is about part-time jobs and assistantships. Part-time jobs are available at Drexel but they, uh, they, but they fill up very quickly so you need to act very fast. In my case, my, uh, in my, case, my housemate informed me about a job opening and I applied and got it. There are jobs related to support services like help desk in uh, various departments and uh, most of the students will be working in restaurants that comes under Drexel. So if you want to know what uh, restaurants comes under Drexel, you can find them in the website. I'll provide that link in the description. Please go through and check it. In case of assistantships, robotics major comes under ECE department. From what I know, it is difficult to secure an assistantship for a master students because most of them are given to the PhD students. But there are also instances where a master student have secured an assistantship from the professor. Since Drexel University is a private university, you won't be getting a tuition fee waiver when you get an assistantship. Part-time jobs on other hand offers hourly wages. In other departments like mechanical engineering, there are positions like grader, but in EC department, there are no such positions. Next, let's talk about internships and job search. At this moment, I should be doing an internship, but unfortunately, I haven't secured uh, one yet. Hopefully, I'll be getting one in the future term. As you already know that Drexel gives you a co-op opportunity. Now, co-op is basically an opportunity given by any college to students that uh, allow them to work in a company before they graduate. To be eligible for co-op, you should complete at least two semesters or three quarters. Once you secure a co-op, you will have benefits like 
that experience will help you to focus on the subjects that you require uh, in the remaining part of the studies. You can also convert that internship or co-op into a full-time job once you graduate. But it's all in your hands to secure a co-op. Like in other universities, Rex also have career fairs and job portal like Handshake. During the career fairs, companies representative visit the college and discuss about the available positions and about their company with the students. This help to um, this helps the students to build their profile for future opportunities. I don't have much information about the job search and the interview process because I haven't uh, experienced that yet. But I'll surely update in future videos once I go through that process. Before ending this video, let me give an uh, advice for the incoming student. In an ideal case, you should identify the subjects which are important for the robotics. If you have already covered those subjects in undergraduate studies, please make sure that you have solid understanding of basics so that that will help you to enjoy the lectures in the class. And most importantly, learn Python and MATLAB before you come here. And that's all for this video. If I missed anything in this video, please let me know in the comment section and I'll try to answer them through replies or I'll make a video on that. Until then, see you all in the next video.